Houston has been known as one of the top cities for allergic rhinitis, or more commonly known simply as allergens. Allergies occur when your body is exposed to seemingly harmless allergens, the most common being weeds such as ragweed, grasses, trees, mold, and dust. For sensitive individuals, your body may mistake these allergens as harmful and your body may release a substance called histamine. Histamine in the body leads to many of the symptoms that are associated with allergies such as sneezing, itchiness, watery eyes, runny nose, itchy throat, stuffiness, and fatigue. As allergies worsen and your nose and throat become more inflamed and irritated, you may develop secondary problems of allergies including nasal polyps, recurrent sinusitis, post-nasal drip, ear infections, and asthma. Before any treatment can be offered, the most important step in allergy management is allergy testing. To accurately diagnose your specific allergens, Dr. Pasha's program uses two methods. Prick testing is mainly used as a screener and to identify potential food allergens. Prick testing is done quickly and is completed in 10 minutes. Skin and point titration or set testing is considered the gold standard of allergy testing. Set testing is the most accurate way to not only identify your allergens, but also determine how allergic you may be to a particular allergen. Please know that Dr. Pasha does not feel that blood testing is accurate enough for a successful program. Once you have identified your allergies, we can then begin a comprehensive therapeutic program that may potentially cure you from your allergies. There are five steps to properly manage allergies. The first step is avoidance. After you have identified what you are allergic to, the best way to deal with harmful allergens is to avoid them if possible. For instance, a common allergen is dust mites. Dust mites are microscopic bugs that literally live in your mattresses, pillows, and carpets. These mites crawl on you at night and cause you to wake up with allergy symptoms. To avoid them, you can use dust mite covers on your mattresses and pillowcases. Remove old rugs and carpets and wash your sheets in hot water. These techniques alone can significantly reduce your symptoms. Other common allergies that respond to avoidance techniques include mold, cats, dogs, feathers, and of course, foods. Harmless allergens such as pollens are too difficult to avoid since they are in the air when we breathe, making it impossible to avoid. You cannot begin to avoid your allergens until you know what you are allergic to, and that's why proper allergy management always begins with allergy testing. The second step in managing your allergy is medications. The most common medications are antihistamines. Antihistamines are generally available over the counter or by prescription. Common brand names include Benadryl, Claritin, Clarinex, Allegra, Zizol, Alarex, and Zyrtec. Antihistamines work against the agent that causes allergy symptoms, histamine. Antihistamines should only be taken when allergy symptoms arise or when you anticipate exposure to allergens. An example of this would be exposure to grasses, ragweeds, or trees during allergy season. Antihistamines can also be taken in forms other than a pill. Common forms include nasal antihistamine sprays such as Astapro and antihistamine eye drops such as Patanol, Patidae, and Aftavar. These drugs are used as needed for specific complaints like watery eyes or nasal itchiness. Nasal steroid sprays are also commonly used and available as prescription only. These include Nasonex, Fluticasone, Omneris, and Veramist. These types of nasal sprays reduce the inflammation caused by allergies, controlling your sneezing, runny nose, and congestion. Nasal steroid sprays must be used on a daily basis as it takes several days to take effect. Dr. Pasha may also recommend antiluctrians that reduce your delayed allergy symptoms like nasal congestion and also treats asthma, a commonly related disorder. Other medications for allergies include saltwater sprays, which clean the nose of allergic particles and decongestants. Although medications are commonly used to control the symptoms of allergies, none will address the underlying cause of allergies, thus limiting their long-term benefits. The third step to address allergies is by using corticosteroids. Steroids reduce the inflammation caused by allergies. Dr. Pasha uses steroids sparingly, limiting their use for severe reactions, persistently intolerable symptoms, or for recurrent nasal polyps. Short-term side effects include mood changes, headache, upset stomach, and may worsen blood sugars or blood pressure. Long-term steroid use may cause weight gain, elevated cholesterol, weakened bones, thin the skin, and cause cataracts. The fourth step to deal with your allergies is to address secondary effects of long-term allergy exposure. Untreated allergies can lead to many secondary effects such as recurrent sinusitis, nasal polyps, asthma, nasal obstructions, ear infections, and hoarseness. These complications are discussed later and often have to be dealt with separately. Finally, in order to obtain long-term benefits, immunotherapy or allergy shots are the only real solution available. 
Immunotherapy is the main state option in treating the underlying cause of your allergic response. Immunotherapy may be considered for those who cannot avoid their allergens and who have severe allergies or who wish to be off medication. Immunotherapy works 85% of the time and also has been proven to reduce the chance of severe life-threatening allergy reaction such as anaphylaxis. Immunotherapy works by reducing your sensitivity to your allergens. As you progress through the course of your treatment, your body becomes less reactive to your specific allergens. All immunotherapy programs are different. Our program is designed to cure your allergies by constantly increasing the concentrations of your vials. We try to avoid maintenance. Our first goal is to cure your allergies, the second to get you off of medications, and the last goal is to get you off of the shots altogether. The Pasha Sinus and Allergy Center formulates our own vials in-house. This allows us to accurately adjust your serum without delay. Once we've created your serum, we will have you come in to test your vial. It is important that you have not taken any antihistamines for three days, such as Alarex, Zizol, Zyrtec, Benadryl, Claritin, Clarinex, Allegra, and Astapro. Please also be conscious of over-the-counter medications that have antihistamines, such as mini cold and sinus combination drugs and sleep medications. Steroid nasal sprays, Singulair, and decongestants do not interfere with our testing. In testing our serum, we place extract under your skin like we did for skin endpoint titration. After 10 minutes, we will measure the response to make sure that we have not given too much allergen, which may cause you to have allergy symptoms or not enough, which will not stimulate your immune system to reduce your sensitivity. Once we adjusted your vials, you're on your way. We will then see you the following week as we teach you more about immunotherapy. Finally, once you are comfortable, typically after three visits, and if you choose, you can give your own allergy shots at home, returning to our clinic every three months for a new vial with a higher concentration. Home immunotherapy is easy to do for both adults and children and is ideal for those who are busy or travel. Home immunotherapy allows for better compliance and long-term success, as you do not have to come to the clinic every week. Both home and in-office therapy is available to you, depending on your own personal level of comfort. A proper immunotherapy course varies from months to years depending on each individual. Congratulations on seeking long-term solutions to your allergies. We hope that with this understanding, you may consider our immunotherapy program. Please allow our staff to answer your questions and concerns. We look forward to allowing you to breathe freely both day and night. For more information or to schedule an appointment, please visit PashaMD.com or call us at 713-523-8800.